Okay, hi everybody. I just wanted to do a review on this crochet hair that I have in right now. This is the Free Tress Ringlet One Curl in LT27 and T27. I mixed the colors um, for pops of highlights and I'm very happy with the results. This is week three of wear, so it's been in for a cool minute and the maintenance is very easy. I feel like this hair is amazing for beginners. It, um, tangles at the root very easily so you won't have any issues with slippage and what I do to take care of it with um, any frizz unwanted frizz or long pieces stragglers you just take it cut it you're done um, if you want to really get in there and section it out and there's some pieces that are just bothering you go in take that sometimes at an angle and cut it pretty easy um, what I did to make this hair look natural, I used a rat tail comb, took it out the roots of my braids, and simply back combed it to get that volume, and it looks way more natural. And it creates kind of um, short pieces that blend in really well with your edges. I'm gonna go a bit closer. I have not laid my edges or anything like that. There's no product on it. Um, so even when I don't do anything, this hair still blends really well into my natural hair. Um, so I have worn this hair before in a color four and I just wanted to make this review to show what a color T27 or 27 blonde, honey blonde, warm tone would look like on somebody with a lighter skin tone. Um, and my natural hair is really kinky curly, so my roots hold on to this hair really well. There's no slipping or anything like that. Um, my hair is not really silky. I really like this hair. I will be doing um, another crochet hair review soon on the Free Chess Beach Curl in T27. It's very warm tone, warm golden, but I'm going to try to tone it down with some um, sandy blondes that I have from another company. Uh, the maintenance is easy. This is water friendly. I don't see any change with this hair once I dipped it in water. I did do an apple cider vinegar rinse because I'm allergic to those um, liquids and products they put on synthetic hair to make it look nice and neat for photography or to send beauty supplies and hold up really well. So I did use the rinse and um, I still noticed that there was a lot of shine. So what I do to get rid of that shine is I use a dry shampoo from Not Your Mother's, I think it's hair care, and this is called Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo in Original. And I got it from Walmart in the travel section, so it's quite small, but really handy. Um, I've had this for a cool minute. This is L'Oreal Dark Root Color Spray. This is a um, medium brown. My natural hair color is a six. This is a color four. So um, I don't really mind the dark root since it blends and it's not too down, too far down my face. Because I don't really like a lot of um, dark roots on ombre units or hair. So what I do sometimes, whenever I feel like it, there's these T27 Pintura Honey Blonde pieces where the blonde reaches up really high on those curls. What I do is I shake it up and I spray it at that root. This does get a little bit messy, so be careful that it's not on your natural um, hair or your scalp unless you're planning on washing it in a couple days anyway. Um, and then another thing I would like to present is the Easy Scratch. This is from a black owned company. Um, the partners are Dion Cole and I don't remember who else. And I just wanted to support black businesses throughout the year in general. So um, this is amazing. It's half the size of a rat tail comb and I'll compare sizes. Yeah. And um, it's hypoallergenic. There's no sharp end, so it's rounded. You're not gonna scratch your scalp and cut open something and create a sore or an infection. And it's very discreet. Since I have really big hair right now, you can't see me doing anything. It looks like I'm fluffing my hair, and I love that. Amazing tool. And great customer service, if you ever need to contact them. It ships from Texas, and I got here really quickly. I live in California. Um, what else can I say about this hair? Easy maintenance. I really don't do anything. I wake up and I have this scrunchie that I sleep with or I sleep with a scarf 
or my satin pillows and I don't have to do anything. I wake up and I shake it out, you know, maybe do this if I want to. But really, it's a shake and go and get out the door type of hair. Very easy. Um, I will be installing this hair in again in a couple months. I really like this hair. It looks like my natural texture, my natural hair color right now. Like, um, So I love it. And I, like I said, I'll be doing more reviews soon. Um, and thanks for watching.